Hi, and welcome to Teaching a Monster How to Code. I'm Kat. And I'm Wise. And in this fourth installment, we're going to introduce you to Optimization. Oh, he's my favorite Transformer. <laughs> no, Waz. After we create rules for how we ask our program to do a specific task, which we talked about last week was... Uh, syntax! Good job. Mm. We then need to make our program as efficient as possible, which we call optimization. But why does that matter? I've already told the program what to do. Isn't that enough? Optimization is an important step in computer programming, and we shouldn't skip it, so no. And there's a couple reasons why. The first reason is we need to save space in the code itself. All computers have a maximum capacity for instruction known as memory. And the more space that our codes take up, the less space for anything else. So it's really important that our programs are optimized to take up as little space as possible. Hmm. So a computer can only remember so much. Yes, Waz. You can only put so many programs on a computer before it runs out of memory. The second reason is because we don't want to wait for our computer to run a program just because it has extra steps in it. We want to optimize the program so it runs as fast as possible. <clears throat> you know, that reminds me of the sandwich challenge we did. I had you get each ingredient one at a time. It would have been much faster if I had you get all the ingredients at once. I was on the brink of starvation. That's a bit of an exaggeration, Waz, but it's a great example of optimization yeah. and why it's important. So for today's screen-free coding activity, we're adding to the card maze that we built last week. This time, we're going to build a multi-stop maze with multiple prizes along the path and make the robot go through it a few times until he finds the path that is most efficient, meaning the shortest path through the maze in order to optimize the program. So you're saying there's going to be more candy? Only after you completely optimize this program and get your robot to get all the pieces of candy as fast as possible. So you mean more waiting? That's up to you and how long it takes you to optimize your program. You will have to write the program a few times to figure out the shortest path. This may be similar to your debugging process and it should take multiple tries. Well, let's get to it. For parents setting up, make sure to have multiple stops on the maze and have them spaced unevenly throughout the maze. Feel free to use the same supplies you used last time to build the maze, and you can build it again and again to optimize new programs. Um, I think I broke my robot. <sighs> Let's work on it together and let our friends at home try it themselves. Let us know how you do, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.